Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Speak, savage! What stops your tongue? You think someone's coming to save you? Give in! Your life is in our hands! It is time to tell us all you know. The sooner you speak, the sooner this will be over with. We're not alone. We'd better be discreet if we want to keep the element of surprise. We should be discreet if we want to eavesdrop on these people. She's been enduring this punishment for hours, blow upon blow through gritted teeth. Truly savage beast we have here. Do we even know if it speaks our language? Leave us! You will eventually tell us how you found your way into that grotto. Your defiance is only prolonging the inevitable. You remind me of that rat my master was studying. The creature used all of its fire in an effort to escape. Scratching, twisting, refusing to understand that the cage holding it was its only remaining world. It had everything it could ever need, but it wouldn't stop looking for a way out. Even though its fate was now sealed to serve science, its animal instinct drove it to flee. It had strangled itself between the bars of its own cage, in a final futile attempt to escape. It was an enormous beast, and very clever. If it had simply relented, it could have lived peacefully for many years. Instead of that... <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> These monsters are torturing her. Come, we must set her free. These barbarians are no better than our inquisitors. How can they do this? This is such a disgrace. Let's talk to them. I may be able to reason with them. If we act now, we'll certainly have to fight. But if we wait till nightfall, we should be able to set her free discreetly. It's your decision. But I recognize this face. Lord Dasade. What a pleasure to see you again. What good wind brings you? These people are monsters. They just tortured a woman, and then they say hello as if it were nothing. 
I'm sure that they will explain what pushes them to treat her this way. Believe me, we would never have reached such extremities if she had told us what we wanted. You see, we have been studying these beings that show, like you, such strange markings on their bodies. We call them metamorphs, but the natives call them Onol Manawi. And we seek to learn through what process they metamorphosize. We heard talk of a cavern of knowledge. The savages hide all of their knowledge within them. And certainly all the secrets that interest us. We discovered one here, but are unable to enter. This woman, she knows how to enter. But as you have witnessed, she refuses to tell us how. To know we are so close to understanding such a fascinating phenomenon. And to be able to do nothing. Let's just say it has made us aggressive. It's extremely regrettable. Free her. We would like to have a word with her. She won't tell you anything. Let us handle this. She will give in at some point. Lord de Sade has a soft spot for the savages. But he understands the price of knowledge. As proof, he spared my life during our last encounter. Afra, I am so ashamed to think that I worked alongside you. You are not sages. You are worth no more than a band of drunken brutes. And you shame me even more than the others. To think that we left our master's service together because of his cruelty. You are unfair, Afra. We are so close to making a fantastic discovery. You know that deep down I am not like that. Then prove it. Oh, free her now! We shall leave. Nothing more holds us here. How are you feeling? Better now. Those Renaikse are absolute monsters. But who are you? You too are a Renaikse. Why have you freed me? We were told at Wen Shavar that you and you alone could tell us where to find High King Vinbar. I wish I knew where he was right now. He bid me farewell weeks ago and he has not returned. I waited a long time and then I came here to enter into the Cavern of Knowledge. You believe this is where he's hiding? No. But he came here often before he disappeared. I'm hoping to find answers. You save me. And so I must help you as well. You may come with me. The Cave of Knowledge is a bit further north. Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The Caverns of Knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you're not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. 
Even if I am not sure I can trust you, because you spared these people, remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. This fresco is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he's walking through the skies towards the volcano. A face has been painted on the volcano. The spirit of the mountain. My heart did not betray me. Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition? To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. He is a Danegad, becoming a Nadaig Menaemon. Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Danegada metamorph differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolmenawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the Guardians. But how could a Guardian of the Plains resemble a Guardian of the Mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some, it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enon Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Given how well hidden this seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. This door appears to be in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seeds. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I've run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Dene Gada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. On this one, we see a sacred site with raised stones. 
and behind the face of the volcano, we also see the path that leads there. Like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk. And the Done Gada that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enon Mil Frichtime. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village. With all that we've learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there's still enough of him left to answer us. And that Constantine is with him. And that he is still alive. Who is Constantine? I thought you were looking for Vinbar. I seek them both. I had hoped that Vinbar would help me enter the sanctuary of Dorhad Genadu. But I learned from the Tierna Hach Kadaktus that he took my cousin. The Tierna told you this? And so you seek to avenge him? No. Only to save my cousin and try to understand why. None of what you say makes sense. Why would Vinbar take your cousin? I... I don't understand. I... My head spins. I need to breathe fresh air. I shall await you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you soon. Am I the only one to think this woman's departure is suspicious? I have a feeling we shouldn't have let this woman leave on her own. Shara is upset, and I don't think that she trusts us. We should hurry and catch up to her. I shouldn't have told her about Constantine. She must have thought we wanted to kill her husband. This door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. It's hard to blame her for not trusting a bunch of strangers. We should look for another exit. These traps weren't here when we went through with Sarah earlier. She must have set them to make sure that we wouldn't be able to follow her. Let's hurry and find this passage to the northern mountain before she decides to come and fight us directly.
Pääs tyyri. This is the place which was depicted on the mural in the Cave of Knowledge. Vimbar must have hidden the passage to the sanctuary.
Karantz. Do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Finally, we've made it to high ground. Now, let's find this trail to the sanctuary. It can't be far from here. Bloodied feathers. I wouldn't like to meet the bird they belong to. I've seen some big birds in my days at sea, but none had feathers this size. They are extremely long. I know of no species of bird that sports such plumage. May the enlightened preserve us. They are enormous. What manner of bird could have lost them? Looks like Vinbar must have begun his transformation. He will soon become a guardian of the mountains. If we want to have any chance of saving Constantine, we must hurry. trail. You should not have come all this way, Renaixe. I will not let you near Vimbar. Sarah, we must see him. We don't have a choice. We saved you. Why have you locked us in the cavern? And why do you now stop us from passing? In spite of your friendship with these monsters, you helped me. I thought that I had to help you in return. But I learned looking at the paintings that this was madness. Vinbar has heard the calling and answered. Even if it breaks my heart, he has done what is right. He maintains the balance. No one must stop him. I am his Minundanem. It is now my duty to defend the path he treads. His path led him to kill Katasach, and now he holds my cousin captive. I'm sorry, Sarah, but no one will keep us from passing. Eight more! Bit of poison on my Over there, more feathers. More of these giant feathers. We're on the right trail. Found the entrance to the sanctuary. Vinbar must be here, with Constantine, if he's still alive. We need to find a way to get inside quickly. This must be the entrance to Vinbar's sanctuary, but it's obstructed. He knows how to protect his home. A stone altar. It resembles the one that protects the passage to Mev's sanctuary. 
This must be where I need to place the seed. And here is another altar. Are two seeds necessary to open the passage? The seed that Sarah was carrying should work. Seeing as how the woman died to protect this passage, I would bet on it. To think that she gave her life to protect the one she loved. Let's hope so. We're not gonna stay stuck here forever, not while Constantine is still in danger. That would be logical in any case. Now that we have both seeds, the ritual should work. King Binba, why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. An old Milfrichtimin saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger, fed by bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving. He will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind, too renaixed to understand. Leave him.
Don't please. You're right. Let's go see him quick. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is, ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it? The fourth time. If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's... Merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it. And in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site. A place full of magic. I followed his instructions. And all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, 
we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Donegada practice to bind themselves to the island. Donegada? Catasac taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony! I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came, and started circling around me. It was incredible! I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am Onwal Manawi, like you! Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. Andevost Tire. Alas, 
His was not the only tragic loss. Your High King, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Ker Tonsidach. What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaik. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enon Mil Frigdeman, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. Who will win the vote in your opinion? I don't know. Each of the three chiefs that I spoke of could win. It is possible that some amazing feat places one of the Mal above the others. If Blagnid had been victorious, she would certainly have won this time. But that was not to be. Is there anyone else among those presenting themselves? Do not date me for someone born last summer. You want to influence the vote for your own gain. But you shall fail this time. And you must go before the one we have chosen. Can I do anything else for you? What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tia Fradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaxe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you, in all meal Frichtimen. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a High King in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg.
What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Your High King Vinbar is dead. Dead? Undervorst, Tire. He was a good king in times of peace, but he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid was still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaixi and take back our island they want to enslave. Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaixi. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaixe to leave the island of their own accord. If you were to prove your loyalty, then it's possible in exchange I would help you. What do you want from me? For you to help us in our assault against the secret camp of the Soul Lasser. The one in which they are torturing my people. What do you intend to do exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. And how am I supposed to help you? My clan is powerful, but so are these Soul Lasser. I need more warriors. Esseld of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people, and you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try at least. That would be good. It would also be good if you could fight alongside us to set these prisoners free. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. Anything more? You must go talk to Iseld and convince her to fight alongside us. Because without her men, the battle will be tough. Anything more? Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renai- I see. To allow me to- Only he- Why should you- I have my own- But you should know- No. aware of the Inquisition's actions. She will certainly want to put an end to it all to appease the natives. Whereas, a frontal assault led by Deirdre and her men would only rekindle the conflict. If she finds out afterwards that we went to fight them without even informing her first, she might take offense.
Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sade, what can I do for you? I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminous. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, are shot in cold blood. How does the Inquisition still dare to take action? You'd think that what happened to them because of their overzealous ways would have taught them a lesson. In any case, if the natives came to you to complain, we must intervene. In that case, we should act fast, Your Eminence. Because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, Your Excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards, which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the Quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. And what can I do for you? Here. The Mother Cardinal gave me this mandate for you to supply me with some troops. Everything looks perfectly in order. May I ask you what this is about? Some members of the Order Luminous built a camp to convert the natives by force. Her Eminence wishes to put an end to what could lead to a war between Teleme and the natives. I see. Oh, it was high time someone put an end to the dangerous zealousness of these Inquisitors. I will order the men I have here to assemble in the courtyard. I do not worry. I will send you my best. I just need to explain the mission to them, and they'll be on their way. And... Soldiers! The Mother Cardinal is sending you to fight under the orders of His Excellency, de Sade. You will have to put an end to the crimes committed by the Inquisition in a nearby fort. I expect you to obey the orders of His Excellency without question. For Teleme! For the guard! Fight with honor! Comrades, pack your bags. We're leaving at once. Fight with honor! For the coin and the enlightened!
We're almost at the camp of the Solasser. Should we wait here for the moon to rise? Here we are. Do you want to wait here until nightfall? Yes, let's. Our men are ready, Your Excellency. They're awaiting your orders. Perfect. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. Understood, Your Excellency. We'll be discreet. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. So, this is the Inquisitor's fort. I knew we should be wary of their foolish zealousness. So this is where the Inquisition tortures people in the name of faith. What madness. So, this is the place where the Ordo Luminous stain their hands with blood. May they be struck by the Enlightened. There's no turning back. I hope that you're all ready. Most of their troops seem to be outside, as if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside, in some basement perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. Most of the fighting will take place outside. The priests are at a disadvantage in confined spaces. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. What are your orders, Your Excellency? We are behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in front of the building, focus on the right wing. At your orders. Should we keep a few men here to catch any potential runners? Indeed. An excellent suggestion. Are you ready for the assault? We're ready, Your Excellency. In that case, conduct the assault as soon as you're in position. before the Inquisitors kill them all. We intervene quickly, thankfully. Let's find the keys to these cells. Wait here for now. We're still fighting outside. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing.
fight. is safe now. Awful. These prisoners have been dead for days. There's no one left to set free. Let's get out of here. How did the battle go for you? Your plan was successful, Your Excellency. We won a resounding victory. Congratulations. And we were able to set the prisoners free. They were completely exhausted, but alive. I would like for you to escort them to the closest village. At your command, Your Excellency. Once this is done, you can return to your garrison. And do not worry. The Mother Cardinal will be informed of your valor in combat. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarde, what can I do for you? 
We managed to dismantle the Ordo Luminis's camp, Your Eminence. And while we were there, we gathered proof of their exactions. Those wretched fools! How dare they challenge me a second time! I will make sure that a decree is published so that their order is now forbidden on this island. The guards served you well, and bravely followed your orders. They will be thanked and rewarded for it. But it is to you, Your Excellency, that I express my deepest gratitude. Without your intervention, Teleme as a whole would have appeared as a monster in the eyes of the Islanders. It was my pleasure, Mother Cardinal. I must leave you. See you later. What do you seek? I have come to tell you that we have taken care of the Inquisitors and set the camp's prisoners free. You thought we weren't capable of fighting the Soul Lasser and of freeing our people? That's not it. I thought it was my duty to inform the woman who represents Teleme here of the situation. She's the commander of the Soul Lasser, and she was furious when she heard about their actions. She made a point of punishing them herself. ...and of having your people set free as a token of good faith. Oh, I understand. She's proven a respectable queen. And you have proven... ...an ally. I thank you for your help on all Manawi. From now on, you have our gratitude... ...and our trust. From this day forward, you are a garants of our clan. Anything more? Will you drive us away, too? We will drive away the Renan. I see. To only... Why should you... I have my own... But you should know... You have had... Once I am... You seem certain... Those who covet victory must... The old king... Whoever were to retrieve it... And you know where it is? I believe it is located in the tomb of the kings. A holy place not far from the village of Ignamri. I do not know exactly where it is. But it is said that the path leading there is strewn with spears. And that the entrance is marked by a dead tree, and protected by a Nadaig Magaman. Do not worry. I will find this place and retrieve the crown before the election. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and get this crown myself. Anything more? I need to be going. Gwawalemseg. Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet an Onirdrik? I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant, but the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. Have you thought carefully about what your allies' intentions are? It may be wise to make sure your pretender's intentions are compatible with yours. Because once the crown is on their head, we will have to follow their course. Are you certain that you've chosen the right ally? If not, we can go and find another. 
We wouldn't want to be the architects of a future we don't like, would we? What's a little menial work when compared to the fate of this whole island? You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. What brings you here on Omanawi? I'm the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power. But Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past. And chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is dead. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Milfrichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nadai Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and the Guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect, for those who rest there were great men.
what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King, Vinbar, is dead. And divorced Tire. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendan has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true. And I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions. But rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity. By creating an alliance with the people of the continent, the lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you, if you were to be named High King. I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. If someone were to wear it today, they would surely be chosen. And where is the First Guardian's tomb located? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his last battle nearby. The entrance to his burial mound is said to be guarded by Anadaig Magaman. The path that leads to it, marked by his spears, and its entrance by a large dead tree. But beware, Anadaig will not let you enter without a fight. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? That queen will bring terror to the colonists. It is the future of the island you have in your hands. Think long and hard before deciding. Once the power is in her hands, she will send a wave of blood and destruction over the entire island. I know that you are bound to this island, but think of the others, of us, of your cousin. Think about it. You need, first of all, to assure yourself that she will help you enter that damned sanctuary. Do not forget that this choice goes beyond the destiny of the sick alone. It is all of the colonies of the island that will need to learn to swim if she is queen. Dertra is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Kir Fradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us, take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Sorry, Dedre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated. Who will obey the orders of the Renaixe, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown. And I won't leave without it. Let's see if you can ward off this fight! Enough! I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Dedra.
I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the sun that was lost and refound on our island. I need to think some more. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. You are right to take the time to think this through. It is an important decision. But the council will unite soon. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. I went into the tomb. I found the crown that your ancient High Kings wore upon their heads. And now you count on using it to lean upon the leader you have chose to reign. Yes. I need to be certain that the one elected High King helps me encounter Enon Mil Frigdeman. I already promised you my help in this matter. But the question left unanswered is this. Do you wish that your people may continue to settle here? For our mutual benefit? I need to think a little more. I understand it is a decision that will change the face of Tiafradi, and perhaps even that of your own continent. But do not wait for too long. The Council will soon meet. It would be a shame to lose your leverage. Concerning the Crown... Well? You carry in your hands the hopes of an entire people. My people. The one who wears it will be elected. You know that. Have you changed your mind? Or do you seek to humiliate me more? I'm not here to humiliate anyone. But I must be assured that the one who is elected will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtaman. I have already promised you this. And you know that once I am queen, I will chase every colonist from this oil. The choice is yours now. I need to think some more. It's an important decision. This is true. Unless your only purpose is to mock me. But be wary. It will not be long before the Council unites. Have you made your decision? Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The Council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise.
Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichterman? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Milfrichtumen to bless our Chosen One. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. We spent two days twiddling our thumbs in this village. Don't you think we have better things to do? Resting in this village for two days is nice. But if you have other things to do, we could take care of them instead of waiting. <sighs> I hope you have some cards or dice on you to pass the time. Unless you'd rather go somewhere else. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path. And keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg.